What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna to be doing another First Shots video. Today, we're gonna be going over a rifle I've been trying to get for some time. This is the IWI Model Z15 AR-15. This is a 16 inch direct impingement 5.56 AR-15 variant, which I think has pretty much everything you need and nothing that you don't. Uh, it comes out of the box with a whole bunch of features I really like for a price that I really, really like. Now, let's start with the top here and we'll go with this M-Lock rail and we'll go down. This is a 15 inch M-Lock rail that you're gonna get right out of the box that has a really good lockup system, really thick M-Lock panel so it doesn't look like they're gonna break or anything like that. The gun actually has a pretty good grip to it and a lot of the Picatinny rail is filed off on the side, which is something you don't really get with cheaper guns. A lot of times that cheese grater effect happens, whereas this feels like, this feels like exactly like you would get on a BCM or maybe a higher end Dino Defense or something like that, which is not surprising because IWI has been a military contract tractor for a long time. You get a mid-length gas system that should reduce a little bit of recoil. We get a uh, 7075 upper and lower receiver with a standard mil-spec bolt carrier, mil-spec trigger, but here's what I really like. You actually get the B5 Systems pistol grip there and the B5 Systems stock right out of the box, which is my preferred anyway. Uh, the trigger feels like about four and a half pounds, which is really nice, but the real star of the show of this is the price. I picked this gun up for about $700 even, which is really hard to do from a reputable company with mil spec parts, uh, especially in 2022. Thank you to Elliot from Mr. Guns. He's my buddy who runs Mr. Guns over there in Waterloo. He let me borrow this for review. So standard AR-15 with everything you need again and nothing that you don't. I like that it comes with an M-Lock rail. I like that it has a good lockup in case you want to put a bipod or a D-ball on it. I like that it has a standard mil spec trigger because those are good enough, but you can switch them out if you want. And then it's got the furniture you want and the forward assist, brass deflector, there's no nothing deleted off here that you might want. I like that a lot. I like that it can be used for just about everything, including home defense and shit hit the fan applications, stuff like that, truck gun. All would be a very good overall philosophy of use for this gun. We're gonna go down and we're gonna put 100 rounds through it today and see how it shoots, see what kind of groups we get. We're gonna be using the Collis K8i that we got from Brownells. Thank you, Brownells, for sending me badass scopes with the Scalarworks uh, 197 mount, which should be kind of fun. Before we do that, I do wanna mention though, if you like the channel, you like the videos, please go down there and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button. A lot of people say they're not seeing my videos, so the best thing you can do is hit the notification button. If you like our content that we make for you and not for the industry, please go down there and click the Patreon link in the description below and sign up for Patreon. If you don't like that, YouTube has super thanks, and also in that description is a link to a local shelter in Ames, Iowa. It's the YSS. Really appreciate if you go down and donate to those kids. I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Euro Optics. Euro Optics has been a sponsor in the past because I really like them. I've bought plenty of optics from them, and I think they're a pretty decent company to work with. Euro Optics has some amazing scopes from all around the world. If you're looking for Collis or Swarovski, they have those. If you're looking for Vortex or something cheaper, they have those as well. Not only that, but they don't do any drop shipping. They have everything in stock, and when you buy it, they ship it right away, which is really nice, especially in today's market where drop shipping is kind of the norm. So feel free to go check them out. That being said, let's go shoot this bitch. Four inches left, three inches low. Even fast, all those are in the bullseye at 50. No way. So we're a two MOA gun for sure. That's a sub one inch group at 50. It's a great scope too, but for $700, a two MOA gun is fucking unbelievable. I hope that keeps up, because all we're shooting is federal 55 grain right now, or PMC 55 grain. That's crazy.
mean, that's a, it's a pretty spectacular group, to be honest with you. Let's try shooting some of these plates over here just for fun real quick. Got it. Oh yeah. All right, let's see these groups. All right, this is just federal, or this is just PMC 55 grain. So uh, that was my first group right there. These two were kind of the ones I popped fast at the end there. This is actually the first like, two shot group I had. And then we shot this one and I didn't like that. And then we shot this guy right here, which is probably for sure the best group I've shot out of an AR in a while. And that's from that, which is really, really nice. We're out. Swinger plate's easy. Too much, a four power action. Recoil is nice. It's even better with that uh, uh, VG6 game I threw on there. Control. Gun's getting a little hot because there's no, uh, there's no uh, M-lock panels or anything on that. But the Collis uh, K8i should be good up close. Woo, not illumination is not even on, it's still fast. Let's take a look at those. Dropping some heat. All right, so now we're gonna do a little target transitions with the rest of the mag. I'll put three rounds in a hand and then three rounds in a dude over there. And we're not shooting steel today, I just forgot frangible, so we're shooting all uh, FMJ. Say when. Beep. One more. Beep. Oh, we're out. Nice. I keep flinching over here because the, the brake. ejection is so crazy uh, mixed with the brake, and it's just a lot of pressure fl flying at me. Right. yards is accurate that's for sure the gun shot extremely well the one downside that I see from the gun right away though is it got really really hot today we shot 100 rounds and uh, the gun is so hot towards the front of the gun that is literally impossible to hold on to without some gloves we had complete reliability which I expected 100 rounds through the gun no problems some pretty supreme accuracy uh, some pretty decent recoil control especially because we put a break on it uh, but I'm also just testing a bunch of stuff at the same time uh, the mid-link gas system worked really well. The trigger is actually really good. The furniture fits great, and obviously the scope is amazing. Uh, we're gonna do a full thousand round review of this before I can give you my absolute stamp of approval, but as of right now, it'd be hard to argue this isn't the best rifle I've seen for the money, at least on the market currently. Now, it can compete head-to-head -head with something like the Radical Firearms or the M&P Sport 2, maybe a Delton or a Palmetto State, but I think the reality is you get maybe just a slightly bigger edge in quality going with IWI. I've always sort of felt that way, and I've always really trusted their guns just because out of all the problems IWI's had in the past with a little bit of accuracy, uh, this gun doesn't have that. Uh, reliability has never been in question, and I think that is the main thing that I look for in a rifle. This one just happens to be accurate and fast, reliable, comes from a company with a good track record, good warranty, and a military contractor making a mil-spec rifle for around 700 bucks. It's hard to argue, pretty awesome. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.